In this video I show you which settings are important to get the maximum quality out of your Insta360 GO 2. And here are some examples that show you what I mean. Here are my basic settings for the best Insta360 GO 2 video quality. Attention! It depends on which firmware you have installed. The menu can look a bit different. Step 1. Go to the Insta360 GO 2 settings menu and make sure the following settings are selected. Set the video codec to H265 if it is possible. The H265 video codec is the successor of the H264 video codec and guarantees you a better and more efficient video compression. In this firmware version you can only select the H.264 codec, so I leave it on H.264. Make sure the bitrate is set to high. The higher the bitrate, the better the video quality, especially for action shots. It is also very important that you always have the latest firmware installed. Insta360 is constantly improving the functions, so you should always be up to date. Step 2. Switch to the Pro Video Mode and make sure the following settings are selected. It's essential the highest resolution and frame rate is set. So make sure to select 1440p and 50fps. 50fps allows you to slow down the video, which looks really cinematic in some situations. You can also work with 30fps if that's your preferred frame rate. I would also recommend you to set the color profile to Vivid. This guarantees you strong colors. All the other parameters like field of view and video ratio you can change in post. Step 3. It's very important that you always record your videos in the Pro Video Mode if you want to get the best quality out of your Insta360 GO 2. Now you can record your desired video sequences with your Insta360 GO 2. Make sure your lens is clean for a crisp image. Also pay attention to a smooth camera operation. The flow state stabilization is very good, but the smoother you guide the camera, the better the results. Here is an extra tip. If you connect your Insta360 GO 2 with your smartphone and control it with the Insta360 app, you are able to control the exposure settings manually. The default exposure mode is Auto. In the app you are able to change the exposure mode to ISO Priority Shutter Priority or Manual. This allows you to set all settings manually which can improve the video quality additionally in some situations. But don't worry, in most cases the automatic mode is fine and delivers great results. Step 4. After you finished your recordings, you can edit your shots in post with the Insta360 smartphone app or the Insta360 desktop studio software. I will show you how to get the best quality for both. Let's start with the Insta360 studio PC software. First import your video. On the right side you find all necessary settings. Activate the flow state stabilization to get a smooth stabilized video. The flow state stabilization automatically leads to a horizon lock, which corrects the video tilt. The FPV stabilization leads to a more dynamic video stabilization, but in most of the shots I would prefer the classic flow state stabilization. The FOV options can be chosen between ultra wide, action view, linear, and narrow. You can check them all out yourself, but my favorite FOV option is linear. This leads to a de-warped image and a natural looking view, which looks most professional in my opinion. Here is a Gimbal Guru special tip. When you click on the video, 
you can tilt up or down the video. This makes it possible to adjust the image section, which sometimes can help a lot. Additionally, you are able to change the video ratio between classic 16 to 9, 1 to 1 or 9 to 16. After you selected all your desired parameters, you can trim the video if you want or export the full video. When you click on the export button, all export settings appear. Insta360 Studio automatically suggests the highest possible resolution, which is 2560 times 1440. For the highest possible output video quality, I would recommend you to use the ProRes 422 encoding format. You can enable the AI effects, color plus and remove grain. Here is an example without color plus activated and here with color plus activated. Most of the time I export videos without the color plus effect. Click OK to export the video and you're finished. Now I show you how to get the best video quality in the Insta360 smartphone app. First connect your Insta360 GO 2 with the smartphone and then click on Album to see all recordings. Click on the video which you want to edit and open it. Make sure the flow state stabilization and horizon lock is activated. Here you can also switch the ratio between 16 to 9, 9 to 16 and 1 to 1. Again you can also switch between the different FOV options. As already mentioned, I prefer linear. After you selected all your desired settings, click on the export symbol to export the video. Then the export starts. For the best export quality, click on Quick Export, Custom and select the following settings. Resolution 2560 x 1440, bitrate 125, frame rate 50 fps and click Save. Again, you can turn on Color Plus and remove grain if you want. These were my guideline steps to get the maximum video quality out of your Insta360 GO 2. If you want to get your Insta360 GO 2, check out the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you want to see more tutorials, reviews and other interesting Insta360 videos, then subscribe to my channel. I see you in the next video.